Here's seven ways to make any woman miss you. In order to make a woman miss you, you have to give her something that she feels like is unique and that she can't get anywhere else. This will work whether you're in a relationship or just talking with a woman, it doesn't matter. Number one is don't contact her. Women are used to men steadily chasing and pursuing them, but no one can miss you if you're always there. Simply not communicating and distancing yourself will keep you on her mind. She'll start to wonder what you're doing, what you're up to, etc. Because the fact that she hasn't heard from you will make her imagination run wild. She'll even eventually start to imagine you with other women and jealousy will start to set in. By you not contacting her, you're showing her that you're independent of her and that you don't rely on her to continue living your life. The real reason why no contact works is because it feels like rejection. When a man shows a woman that he's well equipped and very much capable to handle life without her, she begins to realize that she's an option, not a requirement for him. And this type of rejection ironically makes her crave you more. The reason romantic rejection gets us hooked is because it stimulates the parts of our brains that's a associated with motivation, reward, addiction, and cravings. I'm going to somewhat agree with her, but not fully, obviously. Um, if a guy is on his purpose in doing something productive, he will naturally not prioritize the woman initially when he first meets her. So seeing a woman seeing him being productive, um, using his time, in a productive manner, such as working or working on a business or working on ideas or going to school, she will find that attractive. And knowing that her being ignored for something ambitious will make her want you even more. Usually what guys do is that they fake um, being productive. They will not text her within for a week uh, put the phone down and play video games pretending that they're busy and when they're actually not busy so uh, usually guys do it wrong and then when the girl actually dates him and months weeks later she finds out that this guy wasn't really doing much and that she he was just playing video games all day or not playing video games but playing video games to the point where it's taking over his life where He's not prioritizing um, his lifestyle, uh, activities, outdoor activities, finances, and all that stuff. So when she finds out that he's not doing what he's supposed to do, according to her standards, she will lose attraction slowly. Number two, show her you're still living your life. When a woman is missing you, the first place she will try to check up on you is social media. If she logs on and sees little to no updates from you on there, she'll think that you're not doing much with your life because for some reason people think that if you didn't post it on social media, it didn't happen. Post some of your successes and fun times to social media. This doesn't have to be in like a boastful or cocky way. Even if you don't have any wins or successes, just posting a nice picture of yourself, knowing it will pop up in her timeline will suffice. By dropping hints of your successes and wins, it lets her know that she's missing out on your life events. And women love to be part of a man's life events because it makes her feel like that she's actually a part of your life. Fellas, I disagree with number two, be only because... If you're posting on Instagram or social media to make her believe that you're living a lifestyle, you're only doing it because of her. Like every single time you upload, you're thinking about her and you keep occupying your mind with whoever she is. Now, what I would if you on social media and you barely post, don't post. If you are on social media and you post a lot, post a lot. Go on social media and post because you want to post, not because you're trying to impress somebody. Because, like I said again, when she dates you and, and finds out weeks or months later that you were just posting so that she believes that you're living a certain lifestyle, she will find out a lot of people on Instagram are faking it till they make it. So I would definitely not do step number two. Enjoy your social media. Number three is don't give in to the attention bait. When she realizes that she hasn't heard from you, you haven't reached out, she'll try to indirectly get your attention, usually via social media. She might do this through a nice picture of her, a subliminal status about you, etc. She's doing these things for you. Don't like her pictures, ignore them. She will be sitting there like a fiend, waiting to see if you'll notice them, if you'll like them, etc. The moment that you like her pictures, you're letting her know that you see her and you're acknowledging her. This is validation for her. She will notice that none of those likes on her picture are from you and it will drive her crazy fellas once again if you like her picture like her picture 
you know, but don't go in her comments putting hearts, eyes, and and all those uh, emojis if your guys are not official. But if you like her pictures, like her damn picture, you know? Like, don't make this um, overcomplicated. And if she's doing all those mind games, I think you need to move on and find another woman because I know women need their validation, but at the same time, you need your peace, fellas. So prioritize yourself. Number four is don't be eager, be vague. When she actually does reach out to you, because she will, don't be overly excited to hear from her. Expressing too much excitement is a major turnoff for a woman because it's a sign of dependency. When you're too excited to hear from her, it tells her that you've been missing her and waiting for her to contact you. In her mind, she imagines you sitting by the phone, waiting for it to ring. Even though that's probably not true, that's still what she pictures in her mind. So instead, play it cool and give her simple forms of communication, meaning don't go too lengthy with the responses. Keep it extremely vague and simple but cordial. A simple response like, hey, how are you? Is cordial but vague enough to stand out. Fellas, if you're going to do that initially, like if you're meeting with a woman initially, um, it's okay uh, to keep the text messages simple. Like, hey, let's meet up, blah, 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 blah. But eventually, when you guys are in a full-blown relationship, you guys, you're going to be have to sending her paragraphs, you know, because if you don't give her attention, somebody else outside was is going to give her that attention. If you guys are in a fully committed two or four or five years relationship. Now, when it comes to relationship like this, like initially, yes, um, keep it simple, but at the same time, do not purposely ignore her. Like if you're able and available to text her, just send her a text. Um, maybe not keep, maybe slow down with the emojis or whatever, but show interest too. Because if you show lack of interest, she eventually will say, Hmm, this guy doesn't really like me. And usually when a girl sees that a guy is not interested, they tend to leave because women have that much option. If you're not giving her that intention, she, she can move on to somebody else. So don't play games. And she shouldn't play games either. Number five is create jealousy. Now look, this doesn't mean that you have to full-fledged date or talk to somebody else. This could mean that you post a picture with friends and that there's a woman in it. This could mean that you tag a woman in your pictures because trust me, she will notice that a woman is tagged and she will go and stalk her page to try to see who this woman is. She could be just a friend or maybe not. The point is that she doesn't know. Her imagination will always take her to the point of you being involved with another woman. Even posting a picture of your celebrity crush evokes a type of jealousy in a woman. The point here is that you're showing her that you have other options besides her. Because in reality, you do. Fellas, please do not do step number five because... Creating jealousy at the end doesn't really work because watch when you finally get her once again and then all those women that you were posting on social media that you were with or whatever, for some reason, she's she's going to remember those pictures like 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 before. So when you guys are in a relationship, she's going to be like, oh, where are those women? Oh, I can't trust this guy. This guy is always out. And who knows, he probably with another girl. And now he doesn't post them as much as anymore. Maybe he's hiding them. So please do not start off bad. Do not make a woman jealous. And she can't be jealous because you don't have her. You know, you guys are not in a relationship yet. If it's, if it's in the first stage, she can't be jealous. Well, she can actually if she's crazy. But we don't date crazy women or follow crazy women. So if she's crazy... If she's getting jealous and you guys haven't started dating yet officially or like a long term relationship and she's getting jealous and she's acting crazy, that's a red flag, fellas. Please don't continue the relationship. But at the same time, please do not make a woman jealous because the the role could play back to you. Like she could make you jealous by posting with guys, you know, and and that wouldn't feel good. So don't play games with each other. Don't don't do step number five. Do not make her jealous, please. Number six is nickname her. 
Giving her a unique nickname that means something to her is a guaranteed way to make her miss you because every single time she hears this name, she'll automatically think of you. Now look, I wouldn't recommend doing a nickname this so rare that she would likely never hear it again. It needs to be common enough so that she encounters it again. As I said before, it needs to have some kind of importance and relevance to it. Maybe you create a nickname for her centered around her favorite food or her favorite TV show or her favorite color, etc. What you're doing here is you're making her associate things with memories of you. This is called associative memory in psychology and it's highly effective. With well, number six, I don't have a comment on that. I I guess I don't do nicknames, but yeah, I guess that could work, you know, giving out the nickname. Number seven is teach her something new. Women love to learn new things from a man because teaching and mentorship are characteristics that are synonymous with leaders and women innately want to be led by a man. If you could teach her something new, she will forever be grateful to you for it. Women see a man who is willing and able to teach them something as being confident, capable, and loving. So this is definitely an important trait to have. Ultimately, making a woman miss you is extremely easy. It just takes an understanding of the, of the psyche of a woman and also understanding that women are very emotional creatures but following these steps can make that work in your favor so until the next video i'll see you guys later bye with the last step um i kind of agree in a sense because um a person a man who is educated knows what they're doing and a person who can teach also shows that they ha they're wise and have wisdom but at the same time that only works if she likes you you know so for 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 her what's her name her name is what um olivia alexa all those seven tips seems like uh tips that you would give to a, a guy that's in high school you know these aren't tips that a man who who's has a career or who who's in college or have a who's ambitious these tips are not good tips guys please don't follow her tips because they're not going to get you anywhere. They're not going to to make a woman really miss you. You would it, it takes about 4 months. You would have to be in a relationship with a woman for 4 months and you have to build an attachment. And that's the only way you can make a woman miss you because if you guys are dating initially, how's she going to miss you? Like you guys haven't even built a bond. You have to build a bond. You can't be out here playing games on social media um What's that thing? Cat and the mouse, you know, chasing each other back and forth. That's that's not that's not how it works. She will miss you the moment you guys are serious and you guys build a bond. And now she has an attachment. The attachment is key. All right, guys. Please watch my other videos. Peace out.